Welcome to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. This podcast is being sponsored by Get Loopy. On episode 41, you can hear the story of Isabel, the co-founder and CEO. Get Loopy, get a 20% discount off your first order. GetLoopy.com You've spoken to Luke before. Let's hear more from him on his journey from cricket to triathlon to being the CMO of two times you. Triathlon is a, a sport where you don't get instant gratification and it's if you're in it for the long haul you don't if you if you're after that instant sort of feeling it's the wrong sport it's it teaches you a lot about having a plan and as you said ticking off each day as it comes because the Ironman is the end goal but it's the six months of training that went into beforehand that is probably actually the most important part of the journey and I think that teaches us a lot about business so you might have these lofty goals about you're wanting to double a business or you're wanting to do this in a business, but it's all those small steps before you even get to that goal that are actually the most important part and probably the most interesting mm -hmm. part of the journey itself. I think if you see, let's say, your company in the news, up to then are so many steps that nobody sees. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of smaller companies, startups, like we, you give your everything. And I think that's the same as in sports. Yeah. Like nobody sees how many long runs you've done or how many... 100 kilometers bike rides you've done yeah. in preparation for the Ironman. So yeah. it's only that one day that counts. And yeah. it's obviously that one day that counts, right? Where you want to show <laughs> that you are on your best, but yeah. it takes that preparation. I think that's so important. I think that's the, like, it's it, it's cliche to say preparation prevent poor performance, but at the end of that, it does. You're laying the foundations for performance down the road. And I think the thing about Ironman is mm -hmm. that, it becomes a lifestyle, which is good and bad. Some people, it's it becomes all sort of engrossing and, and that's what they think about, which is fine. That's each to their own. But I think you it teaches you that balance because you've got to balance your training. You've got to balance your work. You've got to balance your friends, your family time. And it, it teaches you that balance to try and have a well-rounded life. And I think that's the, the most important thing because it's so easy to get that balance out of kilter and just fall into that, whether it be working, you know, 12, 14 hour days mm -hmm. or training, like one, one has to give, but you've just got to try and keep that equilibrium because otherwise you sort of, you start to feel a little bit lost. And I think that's, that's mm -hmm. the big thing. It's very easy to do that, but it, it's, there's so many lessons to be learned from it. And like, whether it's spending the better part of 10 hours in your own mind during race day, it's like mm -hmm. so many thoughts go through your mind. I know a lot of people go, Oh, what do you think about? And I'm like, to be honest, half the time, nothing. Like it's just, <laughs> you're just sort of, you're just there. And I said, it's kind of nice because you don't have like deadlines, you know, and it teaches you to be in that moment and enjoy it as best you can. As much as you're hurting, you're just trying to enjoy it. You think about all the work that's gone into that day. But as I said, when you're running past a complete stranger who is just cheering you on, it's kind of nice. Like, like it's sort of, this person has no idea what you've gone through, but they don't care. They're still there cheering you no matter what you are so it's amazing it is amazing i remember that one lady who said to me you have to dig deeper and i was on the bike and i'm like i know i know i don't need to hear this now but i still remember that right yeah, or then the yeah. people who said we'll see you when you come back and it was dark yeah. and they were still yeah. there so yeah it's beautiful yeah. to see it's that the, determination the... that gets us through this Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the classic one is on, it always seems to be about the run around the sort of 32 kilometre mark when people go, you're looking great, you're doing well. Yeah. And it's probably the furthest thing from your mind. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not looking great, I'm not doing well. But it's just that, again, it's reinforcement of positivity, but it's just, it teaches you to just go, I'm not feeling great. Your race may have not gone to plan, but you're there. 
you're there, you're doing it, and you just you've got to try and take the positive out of it. And I think again, that's the that's the sort of that mindset that it teaches you to say, okay, I'm in this moment. What can I do to try and make myself feel better? Is it just enjoying the moment? Is it looking around the fact that there's all these people out here, you know, trying to achieve the same goal? It's, you know, I'm very lucky to be doing this. Like there's other people that can't even do this. So you've just got to really teach yourself to switch out of that mind. And I think it's, as I said, there's so many lessons to be learned along the way as well as race day. I think so. And I remember my coach said to me, even if it takes you 10 seconds longer, take all in. In the last, yeah. we in Lake Placid, yeah. we were on the Olympic Oval and he yeah. says, just stop, look around. And I'm so thankful for that recommendation yeah. because I think it's just, obviously you're tired, but if mm. you can take it all in that moment, you're like, you will remember that for the rest yeah. of your life. How many Ironman competitions have you done? Full distance, only three. I've done quite a few 70.3s. I think, again, that balance of work-life sort of yes. took over. And like it's for me, it's training for a full is just such a big commitment. Like it is yeah. just you need to have a very supportive partner <laughs> and a very supportive work and it's not for the faint-hearted. And I think especially if you put yourself, give yourself quite hefty performance goals, it's quite taxing on the body. Funnily enough, when you were saying take it all in, I remember... The last one I did was Challenge Roth uh, in Germany, which is an amazing mm. race. Like it is, again, that that sense of community in that race is just mm. on a next level. And there's a part in that race, the beer mile, when you're running through Old Town Roth and uh, you take it all in and I was super excited. You go, wow, this is amazing. This is everything I've drawn up for. But then you sort of finish the beer mile and you've still got two kilometres to run and you go back through town where there is no one. And so you're like, oh, okay, now I'm back to this again. So <laughs> you sort of have to run back and then you go to the stadium where there's more people. So it's sort of this like really up and down curve of emotions that you're like, I'm nearly finished the race. There's no one about now. And now there's all these people. But it's celebrating and, and mm-hmm. sort of taking in those moments that you, you've trained for. And the same as in business, it's celebrating those small wins that your your mm-hmm. team or your business is actually, you've worked for. And, and sometimes you might not reach those lofty goals. But again, you've just got, just got to celebrate those wins because you're all trying to do the same thing. And I think it, it can so easily be missed in both sport and professional to, to miss those small wins mm-hmm. because you know, like you, you're so busy trying to get these big goal at the end that you forget about these small little victories you've had along the way. That's so true. And especially, I think in the pandemic time, mm. we're so focused on negativity. I think we need to get out of this and, and focus more on the positive aspects that we have mm. in life and to get through this. And I think get through this together, as you said, yeah. initially with the community and the support of each other. So I think that's that's very important. Yeah. yeah Thank you I very think, much, um, Luke. This was really inspirational. And yeah, I love the two time you, I think this certainly has changed my running. So I'm very happy with those compression sleeves that I have. So thank you so much. No worries. Thank you very much. What an inspiration. What are you taking away from Luke? Two times you. Check out their website. They have fantastic merchandise. I love it. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. And don't forget to order Get Loopy. GetLoopy.com is the plant-based snack. We need a lot of proteins when you are doing the endurance sports. And Take It From The Iron Woman is also a book. Get it on Amazon as a paperback or an e-book.